Elikas and you viewers. So, like, it's totally another installment of Inside Alyssa Why? <laughs> I don't know what that was, guys. That was, that was terrible. I'm sorry. But Inside Alyssa Why is where you ask me questions. It can be seriously about almost anything, whether it's entertainment related, personal related, whatever you can think of. As long as it's respectful, either leave your questions down below in the comment box or you can tweet at me at Alyssa Ree with the hashtag Inside Alyssa White or go to my Facebook fan page and leave a comment there. But let's get on to the questions that I already have. I, I dip in and out of accents so much, it's stupid. I'm sorry. The first set of questions are from Robert Payne and he asks, what would be your dream world trip and where would you go? I definitely would love to travel all over Europe. I would love to go to Scotland. I would love to go to England. I would just love to go to all those amazing countries and see all the beautiful sights and go to all the landmarks and do all this stupid touristy stuff and just experience different cultures from my own because I've never left the United States so I would love 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 to go all over Europe and just travel. What person or persons inspired you to make videos? Definitely Olga K and Rachel Moore were the two biggest influences for me because they're both amazingly strong women, both beautiful and they have amazing personalities and they are very steadfast in their interests. They don't back down when people push them and I think they're just wonderful women. What would be the title of a movie you're given to make and who would star in it? Ooh, this is hard. Ah, gosh. Um, if we're gonna make a movie, it'd probably be a sci-fi or historical fiction movie. I'd probably lean more towards sci-fi though. You know, I'm not gonna say the title because what if I actually do make a movie? I don't want someone ripping my title off, so... The title is redacted, but I would have Alicia Vikander, Sam Hewen, Michael Fassbender, and let's go with Olivia Coleman because I think they'd be a solid cast. I think they'd work well together, and I'd just like to see all four of them in a movie together because it hasn't happened yet, and I just want to see all four of them together. So, sci-fi movie with all of them, the title is redacted because what well, if I decide to make this one day, huh? 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 And lastly, from Robert... What television series place would you love to have a house in? Definitely Outlander, but with a caveat. I would love to have a house in Scotland, but I'm not sure about the 1700s. I would love to have a big, beautiful castle to live in. Like, I would love, love, love to live in Lallybrock because it's so beautiful. And I would love to live in Castle Leoc. But, you know, the 1700s, they had, like war and disease and stuff and it wasn't pleasant and there's no electricity and awesome stuff to entertain yourself with but it's really beautiful so I don't know I would love to live in Scotland like an outlander but not in that specific time period because I would die Nick T Wolf asks if you could live in any book series that you have read recently what would it be and why <laughs> I'm not gonna say outlander this time because I just said it um, a book series I've read recently, uh, series-wise, mm, I haven't read a lot of series lately. I have been reading a lot of books set in the Tudor age because I love Philippa Gregory's writing, but I don't want to live in that age because it was terrible. I would personally say, like, from a series, the place I would like to live in, I would love to live in either Mystic Falls from The Vampire Diaries or Bon Temps from True Blood because I would love to just interact with those the supernatural creatures and like if I died it'd be a death that'd be awesome so <laughs> or I'd get turned into a vampire I don't want to be a werewolf or anything vampire all the way so I'd have to say I would either love to live in Bon Temps or in Mystic Falls just because I know a lot of shit happens in those towns but I think it'd be cool to live in them so yeah. Dustin Horton asks, as a hardcore gamer such as yourself, do you think that one day an actual good video game movie will ever be made? And if you could pick said game to be turned into film, what would it be? Um, I've actually enjoyed quite a few video game movies. They're definitely not perfect. But I have really high hopes for the new Tomb Raider movie coming out in 2018 that stars, again, Alicia Vikander. It's directed by Roar Uthog. I think that's how you say his name. I really need to learn how to pronounce his name because it's going to drive me nutty now. But I have a lot of faith in this movie. I'm just like, please don't let me down. Please, please, please don't let me down. Please don't destroy Lara for me. But I don't think they will. I don't think so. But if I had to pick a game to turn into a movie, I would choose Dead Space. I think that would be an awesome game to movie adaptation. If they did it right, they had the right director. 
I know Event Horizon is a lot like Dead Space, but I think Dead Space is unique enough on its own to be a really good claustrophobic horror movie set in space that would be its own entity. And I just want another Dead Space game in actual real life. Like, someone please make this Dead Space game, please. Please make Dead Space 4. If I say your name wrong, I'm sorry, is it Dean Newt's Place? Asks, what video games are you playing these days? And do you have PlayStation? I do have PlayStation. I actually have a PlayStation 2, a PlayStation 3, a PlayStation 4, a PSP, and a PS Vita. I don't have a PlayStation 1 anymore because my parents sold it in a yard sale forever ago and I'm still mad about that. But the game I'm currently playing that's taking up all my time and I can't play any other games because of this game is Persona 5. I'm still playing it. I'm still loving it. I'm over 60 hours into it. It's just so jam-packed full of things to do. I'm loving building bonds with my friends and taking down criminals as the fam thieves and I'm enjoying the story. The visuals are amazing. I could go on and on about Persona 5, but that's what I'm currently playing. John Johnson asks, what brand of whiskey do you like? It's always, always, always Gentleman Jack for me. That's about the only one that I can really stomach and that I enjoy the taste of. It's just, it goes down smoother, it tastes better. I'm just a Gentleman Jack girl. Again, if I say your name wrong, I'm sorry. Let me know how it's pronounced, but Banafi Love asks, Hope you don't think this is a shitty question, but what are your top five video game character crushes? It's not a shitty question. I actually did a video about this a while back. I'll try to link it if I can find it somewhere. But currently, I would say my top five video game crushes are Nathan Drake from Uncharted, Miranda from the Mass Effect games, the first trilogy, the new Lara Croft from the rebooted games, Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil, and I'm gonna go with Bayonetta from Bayonetta. Those are my current top fives that could change, and I don't remember what I said in my video, so it's been a while. RPG asks, So I heard it was your birthday soon. It is soon as of the time of filming. My birthday is July 30th. And he has questions related to my birthday. What would a seven-year-old little Allie wish for her birthday? Seven-year-old Alyssa would seriously ask for the same exact things 25-year-old Alyssa would ask for. <laughs> Books, games, movies. I was just so into entertainment as a child. My uncle got me into it. And I just, as a kid, I always wanted games and books and movies to occupy my mind. Because even as a kid, my thoughts always raised and I was always thinking of things all the time. And the only thing that quieted my mind down was reading or watching a movie or playing a video game. So that's why I mostly wanted. I did go into a phase where I was like, I want all the Bratz dolls ever. But mostly I was just very into entertainment. So that's probably what I asked for most as a kid was those things I mentioned. What would a still surprisingly in good shape 50 year old Miss White wish for her birthday? That's another quarter century away. But I'm kind of hoping I'll be like the cool old lady that still is into video games and movies and books and stuff. So it's probably going to be the same exact stuff. And what do you currently, sometimes tipsy, but always lovely, Lissery, wish for your birthday? Uh, everything I just mentioned. <laughs> everything on my Amazon wish list, which don't go and shop on that. I'm, that's not reverse psychology. I'm just saying it's all books and movies and games. Some figures. Like, I'm just, I'm a nerd, okay? I just want nerdy stuff all the time. <laughs> And I believe those were all the questions for this installment. If you have anything you'd like to ask for me, please, again, leave it down below in the comment box, tweet at me, or leave it on my Facebook fan page, and I'll try to answer in the next installment unless it somehow goes into spam or it's really disrespectful, which that hardly ever happens. Don't test me with my saying that. If you like this video, leave a like. If you liked it, make sure to share it because that helps my channel grow. It makes me super duper happy! And if you're not subscribed already, but you like what you've seen and heard, hit the subscribe button along with the notification bell right next to it so you'll be notified all the time whenever I upload a new video. And if you'd like to follow me on all the social media sites, because I have literally nearly every social media site ever, all those are listed in the description box down below. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace and kisses. Bye! Oh, 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 geez, guys, I'm so sorry you had to see my terrible dancing, but while you're here, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you'll see my face floating over here in the near future. Click it, and I'll send you to my channel. Also, make sure, if you want to see the last video I uploaded, to click that up here. If you want to watch a playlist of videos that you can watch over and over again, that'll be down here as well sometime in the near future. I'm just going to go back and go back to my horrible dancing now, okay?